richest marine biodiversity in the entire coral triangle, the center of the center of marine shorefish biodiversity. Consisting of 1.14 million hectare marine ecosystem, Verde Island Passage Marine Corridor is located off the coastlines of Batangas, Romblon, Marinduque, Occidental Mindoro, and Oriental Mindoro provinces. The passage teems with more than 300 species of corals, underwater reef formations, and rock canyons that host around 60% of the world's shorefish species. It's also home to charismatic species such as whale sharks, sea turtles, and nudibranchs. The Verde Island Passage in the Philippines is one of the most productive ecosystems in the world. Alam na po natin ang Verde Island Passage is a kinukonsidera na center of the center of marine biodiversity. Sinasabi nga ang napakayaman ng klase ng isda dito, mayroong 500 plus uh, species ng isda at mga 300 plus species ng corals. Ang Verde Island Passage ay konektado sa karagatan ng Mindoro at karagatan ng Apo Reef. So marahil itong, mga, itong karagatan na ito ang uh, daanan ng mga mahalagang isda at yamang dagat sa Pilipinas. The passage is the backbone of the local economy that supports fishing industry and ecotourism. Of course, uh, syempre pagdating po sa... Uh, preparation po ng ecotourism plan, no? titignan din po natin dyan is yung ano ng mga tao no? so, sa livelihood din. No? Yun yung isang anuhan po natin dyan. Pero as a isa, sa isang concept po natin doon is more on sa protection po tayo. Kasi mawawala po yung ecotourism area kung hindi po natin pro-protectionan po yan. And also, the most vulnerable marine ecosystem in the country. As economic development progresses, the passage is increasingly threatened by illegal practices and activities like cyanide fishing, harvesting of marine wildlife, habitat destruction, pollution, land conversion, irresponsible tourism. To address these issues, local government units and other stakeholders along the passage bonded together to protect and conserve the center of marine biodiversity. Early 2000, eh, maraming dumadayo dito na mga taga ibang probinsya na nangingisda. Eh, yung sistema ng pangingisda dito ay medyo nakakasira dito sa amin dahil uh, gumagamit sila nung mga compressor at saka uh, mga sodium cyanide. So napag-isip-isip uh, namin na magawa ng isang ordinansa na para itong lugar na ito ay maging protected area. In the province of Romblon and Occidental Mindoro, marine protected areas have been declared as a mechanism in protecting its waters. Laws and policies are strictly implemented to protect the seas. Itong Verde Island Channel natin, hindi po pwedeng mag-fishing ng ganong style. Hindi lang kami sa drugs, sa illegal gambling, kundi meron pa kami uh, crimes against uh, environment. Meron kami kasing ordinance dito. Una, yung uh, uh, municipal fishery ordinance, meron kami. Tapos, uh, sa fishery ordinance, nandun din yung mga protection sa conservation ng aming mga marine protected areas, itong ating uh, marine sanctuary. Bantay Dagat and other law enforcement volunteers were strengthened. Halos araw-araw po, basta maganda lang po ang panahon, ay kumakandak po kami ng regular na seaborne patrolling. May pit kami pagdating sa enforcement. Mara at marami kaming nahuhuli dyan. Kumisan nakikita mo dyan, dami dito mga tao, puro mga ngisda. Kasi may pit yung ating mga enforcers doon. Information lang bigay sa, bigay sa amin, andyan na yung bantay dagat. Yung mga gumagawa po ng hindi mabuti, ay tigil-tigilan na nila yan. Doon naman sa mga sumusunod, ang akin lang payo ay eh, keep the good work done. Be, always be, be vigilant. Yung palo dalo, I think you cannot uh, commit any wrong. Ban on plastics was issued as a step to stop improper solid waste disposal. Pag marumi ang iyong karagatan, 
ay yung mga isda kasi kinakain niya yung mga plastic kaya yung naging dahilan kaya namamatay. Mayroon kaming ordinance dito ng solid waste management. Uh, ordinance, ito yung isang ordinance sa na talagang yung mga plastic, talagang pinagbawal namin ng plastic dito sa Andubag. Information and education campaign has been intensified to increase awareness on the importance of the passage. Kailangan lang talaga mabigyan ng awareness yung mga mangisda. Alam nila na bawal ito, hindi pwedeng gawin itong ganito. Ito yung mga allowed naman. Pagka-aware naman sila, educated sila sa mga mga policies at sa mga batas, eh susunod naman sila. Capacity building is also implemented to capacitate communities on the protection and conservation of Verde Island Passage. Hinihikayat po namin sila na gumamit ng mga uh, pamalakaya na hindi uh, destructive uh, wika nga. Kasi ang, ang point namin is uh, kung sila mismo sa community ang uh, hindi mga laga doon sa kanilang uh, resources, uh, sila, sila rin po yung unang apektado. Kasi araw-araw po uh, doon nakadepende yung kanilang ikinabubuhan. Livelihood trainings and other economic activities were initiated by the government and other institutions. Ecotourism destinations are currently introduced along the passage to increase revenue and to educate and encourage the public to protect and conserve the seas. Verde Island Passage remains the country's richest marine ecosystem and its protection and conservation is the Filipinos' contribution to the global seas community.